Thank you so much for your time today. And thank you so much for all the feelings I had while watching your film. It was an incredibly rewarding experience for many reasons. I'm definitely going to have to add this to the list of films that I watch when I truly want to feel something. Do you have any films like that in your own rotation? Something that's emotionally fruitful and serves as a great reset to what it means to be human? Oh, that's such a good question. Um, I think my favorite of all time is Terms of Endearment. Mm. Um, I just absolutely love that one. Um, I really loved The Big Sick also. Yeah. Um, let's see. I love Lady Bird too. And um, it's obviously a very different type of feelings, but I felt that was quite a heartfelt movie that makes me feel something. People sometimes compare this movie to Beaches, which I love. I love yeah. the movie Beaches, and I, I remember it well from when it first came out, and I've seen it many times since then. Um, yeah, I think those are some of my favorites. I identified with so many of the characters, but I think what most spoke to me, because it's a title that I proudly have, is the father in the film, played by the great Ron Livingston. Uh, his character is so fun and funny he's very much my dad fixing things and i have kind of picked that up from him uh, with my own son like there's just times where you feel like you can just fix anything like ev everything has a, a tool or some tape that can be applied but there are times that you face as seen in this film where you can't, like there is no tool, there is no tape that can be used for what lies ahead. And I, I'm curious what it was like for you to navigate moments like that in the film, especially through uh, Ron Livingston's character. It was like very, very <clears throat> challenging. I mean, I'm a mom and I don't know that you have to be a mom to understand what it, what it, well, to imagine, if not understand, what it must be like to go through something where your kid is, you know, fighting for her life, essentially. Yeah. Um, and to not be able to fix it and to not even be able to necessarily care for them the way you want to. She's cho cho choosing to do it her way around her people. And and you have to respect that. She, You know, it's it's um, it's yeah, it's difficult. It was difficult just to shoot, you know, and I think he did such an amazing job. I mean, Ron Livingston is such an em empathetic person yeah. anyway. And such a kind, good-hearted guy and a dad himself. And I think he really got it. He really yeah. got it. Like the way the parents experience this whole story is a huge part of the picture, you know? Yeah, yeah. And then there are those great moments in the film where there will be a moment of in just intensity, like, or an emotional intensity or just a very emotional scene. And you'll drop a moment of comedy in like a, uh, like there's a heated talk in a bathroom and then someone fails to wash their hands and it's commented on. It kind of stops, pumps the brakes. And then there's a scene at the end, uh, or near the end uh, on a beach um, that I will save for the film. Um, so I'm, I'm curious about na navigating those moments. I mean, I thank you for bringing them up. And I, I hope they're fun and authentic. To me, they are. And I, I think the reason is because life manages to be absurd even in its most sort of existentially yeah. sad moments and there's always something funny happening somewhere and there's usually something funny happening in front of you if you're willing to look at it and sometimes we're just not in the mood to laugh you know right. but I also think that if we can remember that it's just there is no dark without the light and there's no light without the dark and so I think a little bit of humor makes the sad stuff feel even sadder and it also keeps the sad stuff from becoming so sad that we can't take it anymore. So I, I think it is really important in our lives and certainly in a movie to try and keep to try and keep that balance. It's um, it's what life is all about. Yeah, yeah. Whether it's a, a line like, "I just needed something to be mad at," or "I'm going to remove one word from this," but being in someone's orbit. Um, I, I, what would you say is the most honest moment in the film to you? I mean, those are two really good examples. I love those two exact moments. I also love the moment where they're fighting about underwear. <laughs> the yeah. Women. And um, she's like, I just, Corinne's like, I just want you to have fun. And Jane's like, but it isn't always about having fun. 
And yeah. me that just said, cause you're both right. They're both right. And you can see where both of them are coming from. And I feel like that's one of the sort of existential pulls of this movie is like living life to the fullest and surrendering to terrible things that happen, but embracing the beautiful things that happen, being responsible and staying grounded and not living in la la land because life right. is light. And yet always finding something joyful and something, it's always making a fairy tale around yourself wherever you go. And I feel like part of why we love their friendship so much is that they're both right. They're both wonderful. They're both people we want in our lives. And yet they can say the opposite thing at the same time. And we are rooting for both of them, you know? Yeah. yeah. Also have to bring up like this great exploration of like all these different corners of nightlife and from all the different bars that the, the characters go to and just what that was like shooting those sequences and like what you gain from that because there must have been endless stories and especially from the conversations that you probably had with Audrey uh, preparing for it. Well, exactly. And I mean, you know, people who don't live in Los Angeles or haven't spent a lot of time here, I don't know if they understand having watched, you know, reality TV or like seen Beverly Hills and whatever on, on television. I don't know if people understand that LA has so much happening. There yeah. are so many different pockets of people and cultures and different types of ways that people go out <laughs> and meet each other or hang out and have a drink. Like it is, it's it's such a diverse and interesting city. And there's this whole sort of secret Los Angeles of just real people doing real things. It's not all entertainment people. It's not all influencers. Like there's also just people having lives here. And so we wanted to kind of show that. And it was really fun to get to stay here and shoot here and not create these bars out of like a fictionalized composite hybrid of places we've been, but go to the actual places and let them play themselves. And right. to the like background actors and stuff were like, oh, I go to this bar. Like everybody knew these places. And it was just, it felt, it added to that same thing we're talking about that it just felt authentic and it felt real. And it didn't feel like we all had to pretend it was just happening anyway, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And I know we're just about out of time and I wanted to quickly ask about just looking at your filmography and I just enjoy all these youthful stories. And I'm curious, like, what, what's your connection like with your younger self? Is this like bringing up like very interesting conversations about like the the conversations that we need to be having with younger generations because they're going through different things. And it's such an interesting and excellent question. I mean, I do think, I remember my 20s really clearly. It was a really, really weird time for me and really difficult because I didn't know who I was and I didn't know where I was headed. And I wasn't okay with not knowing who I was and where I was headed. Um, and what I want to tell my younger self and what I want to tell people who are going through that is it's, it will come like, and, and part of the journey is not knowing. And like we were saying, just sort of surrendering to it, not taking it too seriously, but also not blowing it off. Like you will, you'll get there, you mm. know, the road has lots of turns and winds in it that you can't possibly see coming. So just go along for the ride, <laughs> bake yeah. a cake, hug your best friend. Like, and, and I think, um, Get, we get in our heads so much, especially like when you're trying to, you, you've got all these pressures from your parents or your job or, you know, your college debts that you have to pay or your rent is due. And there are so many pressures on us. Um, and young people are just stepping into adulthood and trying to figure it all out. And part of me just wants to like hug all of them and be like, it's, you're going to get there and it, it's going to yeah. happen. Like just, you know, you're only young ones and don't worry too much about it. And, and, and I do want people to understand that they're strong. Like they can go through stuff. It may not be fun. It may not be pretty. It might be a little bit gritty and it might be a little bit scary, but like, you're going to be okay. You know? Yeah.